The attempt to kill a former Russian spy in England bore an ominous signature, the assailants used a lethal nerve agent of a type developed in the Soviet Union, and British investigators quickly concluded that only the Kremlin could have carried out such a sophisticated hit. Soon after the March attack, Rex Tillerson, then the U.S. Secretary of State, ordered State Department officials to outline the case for designating Russia as a state sponsor of terrorism under U.S. law. Experts in the department's Bureau of Counterterrorism began to assemble what they thought was a strong case. But almost as quickly as the review began within about two days the Secretary of State's office sent new instructions to drop the initiative, according to State Department officials familiar with the episode. There are a lot of issues that we have to work on together with Russia, a U.S. official said. Designating them would interfere with our ability to do that. The State Department's reluctance to impose the terror designation was not a product of Trump administration's sympathy for Russian President Vladimir Putin, U.S. officials say. Rather, it reflected an ambivalent and at times contradictory policy toward Russia on terrorism issues that stretches back more than a dozen years, American intelligence officials and foreign policy experts said. Even as Washington has grown more concerned about an array of Russian security threats, it has continued to seek Moscow's cooperation in combating terrorism. Although the approach has yielded few victories against the Islamist militants that the two countries vowed to fight after September 11, advocates of the policy argue that it has been one of the few areas of common ground in which cooperation remains possible during a period of increasing confrontation.